Martha. D W eight. I'm Joseph. Your father and I have something we want to share with you. And I think you're all going to like what I'm going to say. What is it, Mom and Dad? We would like to announce that we just bought tickets to go to Great Wolf Lodge this weekend. Wait a minute. Can I just hear what I thought I heard? Did you say we're going to Great Wolf Lodge? Exactly, Joseph. That's what I just said. We're all going to Great Wolf Lodge this weekend. I'm very excited to go to Great Wolf Lodge. Never been there, but I've seen photos of the place before, and I think it looks like it'll be fun. I could not agree with you more, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. This is the best moment in my life. This is the best moment in my life. I cannot wait to go to Great World Rides because it looks like a lot of fun. Going down the world sides and a lot of other stuff they may have there. However, Joseph, I need to tell you something, and it has to do with our behavior. Your father and I don't want you to throw any temper tantrums while we are at Great Wolf Lodge. Do you understand? Yes, Mom and Dad. I promise I will behave myself. Hey, Arthur and DW, how likely do you think that Joseph isn't going to keep his promise? It's very likely he's going to throw one of his childish tantrums, like he always does whenever we go places. I'm thinking the exact same thing. This trip is going to be very embarrassing, I'm afraid. Yeah, Great Wolf Lodge, here we are, for the first time ever. That's right, Joseph, we finally made it to Great Wolf Lodge. But remember what we told you a few days ago. You need to be on your absolute best behavior, and no throwing child or stand -tons, or any kind of misbehavior. Otherwise, you will be grounded. Okay? I understand, Mom and Dad. Alright then, let's get checked into our hotel room, and then we will head on over to the water park. How long do you think it will take before we go to the water park? I'd say, around 20 to 30 minutes. Now we are at the water park. What should we all do? Any ideas, anyone? I know what we should do. Let's go down the big water slide. It doesn't matter to me which one it is. Alright then, we're going to go down the slide. Come on everyone, and Joseph, remember to behave yourself. I can't wait to go down the big water slide. This is going to be so much fun. Finally being able to do so well for so many years. Oh great, why do we have to wait in such a long line? Forever. This is not good. I want to go down the water slide, right now. Well Joseph, you're going to have to wait your turn, just like everyone else. That's something you need to understand. No, I don't want to wait my turn. I want to go down the water slide right this instant. Ah. I want to go down the water slide. I want to go down the water side. 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 Uh, my goodness, this is so embarrassing. I knew this was going to happen. Dora, this is reminding me of the day you and I went to the zoo, and Dev was throwing a child of tantrum. I know, right. The only thing is Dev has improved his behavior since then. Also, doesn't that kid look like he is 10 or 11 years old? Yeah, and as a matter of fact, that's Arthur's younger brother Joseph. Joseph, stop it! Stop acting so dramatic and be patient. Otherwise, we're going back home, and you'll be grounded. Okay, fine. Yes, I am having the absolute best day in my entire life. Finally going down the water slide. This is the best moment. This is just as fun as watching Coco Nine, and I really hope they will put on Coco Nine in the pool because it is the best show in the universe. Joseph, even though you threw a little tantrum while waiting in line, we are so proud of you for waiting your turn. Very well done. Why, thank you, Mom and Dad.
Now, Papa, anyways, what shall we do next? I've got an idea. Follow me. For those in the water park, may I have your attention, please? In just a few minutes, we will be showing The Incredibles. Again, to repeat, we will be showing The Incredibles for those of you in the water park in just a few minutes. Seriously, are we going to be showing The Incredibles? Yes, Joseph. What's wrong with that? The Incredibles is a good film. And I think you may actually like it. Well, I don't want them to play The Incredibles. I want them to play Coco Melon in Super Simple Songs. Please, can you tell the staff to put on Coco Melon instead of The Incredibles? Oh great, here we go again. Joseph is about to throw another one of his tantrums. I know, right. And he watches Coco Melon at 11 years old. That show is especially a baby show such that it makes Bernie look like a college professor. It's even worse than Crazy Bus. Joseph, they're not showing Coco Melon, and you need to accept that. Besides, you're too old to be watching Coco Melon, like I've told you numerous times. A great is great wolf for us have to show the Incredibles instead of Coco Melon. Coco Melon is a million times better than the Incredibles. I want them to put on Coco Melon instead. Really, Joseph? Are you going to act childish again? I told you already, they're not putting on Coco Melon. Really? I don't want to rush the Incredibles. I want to rush Coco Melon. Make them put on Coco Melon instead of the Incredibles. Really? Joseph, you need to understand that sometimes, you don't get everything that you wish for. And today, they're showing the Incredibles instead of Coco and Melon. Also, your mom and I think you're too old to be watching Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. I want them to put on Coco and Melon. Is it that complicated to put on Coco and Melon? Seriously? Joseph, enough with the childish behavior. Now, either we are going to watch The Incredibles, or we're going to have to go home early. You're really embarrassing everyone in the water park. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, I demand that you put on Coco Melon instead of The Incredibles, because Coco Melon is much better. Joseph, that is not how you talk to the staff, okay? If he doesn't put on Coco Melon, then I'm going to see Great Wolf for us for over a million dollars. That's not going to happen. The schedule says that we're going to be watching The Incredibles. Anyways, I'm going to get back to work. I don't have time for this. Alright then, but remember that I demand you to put on Coco Melon instead of The Incredibles, and that is fine. Put on Coco Melon right now. Joseph, that is enough. I want to watch Coco Melon. 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 That's it. Joseph Christopher Reed, we're going home, and you'll be grounded. I wanna stay here, 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 I wanna stay here. I don't want to go home, entitled Catherine. Joseph, stop it. Stop acting like a three year old, and act your own age for once, for the love of Burger King. We're going home, and that is final. This is so unfair. I was having the best moment of my life, and then you had to ruin the moment entitled Catherine. Uh, well, excuse me, you cry baby, but I was not the one who demanded the staff to put on Coco Melon instead of the Incredibles, and then throw a temper tantrum because they were not showing Coco Melon in the water park. Besides, I also wasn't the one throwing a tantrum because we had to wait in line to go down the water slide. That was all you who did that. And because of your behavior, 
You have ruined our weekend at Great Wolf Forge. I'm so sorry. Mom and Dad, can I please go back? I promise to behave myself this time. No! We are not going back. Besides, you promised to behave before we arrived at Great Wolf Forge, and yet you broke your promise. And I really doubt you'll actually keep your promise again. You're such an entitled captain. I'll be quiet, Joseph. I need to concentrate on the road. And stop calling me an entitled Catherine, or what not. When we get home, you will immediately go upstairs to your room. Go upstairs to your room now. <laughs>